let's talk about the the new visa fees set to come into effect next month october 4th uh, many of us uh that are planning to travel to united kingdom uh will now have to pay a little bit extra uh on top of the visa fee from whatever country for those of you that are still going to need a visa to travel into the united kingdom there will be increase to the immigration and nationality fees to pay for vital services are set to come into effect. First, let's listen to the Prime Minister, Rishi Sunak. Speech, this is a significant pay award. It's one of the most significant we've had in decades, and it is costing billions of pounds more than the government had budgeted for, and that has consequences. If we're going to prioritise paying public sector workers more, that money has to come from somewhere else because I'm not prepared to put up people's taxes and I don't think it would be responsible or right to borrow more because that would just make inflation worse. So what we have done are two things to find this money. The first is we're going to in increase the charges that we have for migrants who are coming to this country when they apply for visas and indeed something called the immigration health surcharge, which is the levy that they pay to access the NHS. So all of those fees are going to go up and that will raise over a billion pounds. So across the board, visa application fees are going to go up significantly. And similarly for the immigration health surcharge, for migrants who are coming to this country legally, they have to pay a fee to access the NHS, to put a contribute to NHS care. I think that's entirely right. Neither of these fees have been increased recently, and we think it's appropriate, given the costs for everything have gone up, that those fees, both for applying for visas and for... Well, uh, you've just been listening to uh, the Prime Minister, uh, Rishi Sunak, uh, telling us the reason why uh, you know, the visa fee needs to go up. Now let's, uh, you know, go into it. This was actually published uh, on the 15th of September, 2023. Uh, this is still part of my, you know, 24 years, going into 25 years in the United Kingdom as I continue to share my knowledge of uh, living in a country and so many information that will be vital to you from immigration, uh, you know, to healthcare, uh, to security and so many other areas. So now let's, read into this uh, published article from the Home Office. Increase uh, to immigration and nationality fees to pay for vital services and allow more funding to be prioritized for public sector pay rises as set come into effect on the 4th of October, 2023. This is following legislation being laid in the parliament today which was on the 15th of September, 2023. The changes mean that the cost for a visit visa for less than six months is rising by 15 pounds to 115 pounds, while the fee for applying for student visa from outside the UK will rise by 127 pounds to 490 pounds to equal the amount charged for in the country of applications. So if you're coming from a country that you need to apply for a visa, that will be equivalent to the exchange rate of that country. In July, the government announced a 15% increase in the cost of most work and visit visas, an increase of at least 20% in the cost of priority visas, study visas, certificate of sponsorship. Incoming income from fees charged plays a vital role in the home office ability to run a sustainable immigration and nationality system. Careful consideration is given when setting fees to help reduce the funding contribution from the British taxpayers, whilst continue to provide a service that remains attractive to those wishing to work in the UK and support the broader prosperity for all. The changes include fees for up to six months, two and a half years, and 10 years visit visas. The majority of these fees 
for entry clearance and certain applications for leave to remain in the UK, including those for work and study. Fees for indefinite leave to enter and indefinite leave to remain. Convention travel document, stateless persons travel document, health and care visa. Fees in relation to certificate of sponsorship and confirmation of acceptance for studies. The in and out of country fee for the super priority service and the out of country fee for the priority service. The settlement priority service will reduce so it is aligning with the cost of using the priority service. Applications to register and naturalize as a British citizen. The fee for the user pays visa application service. Subject to the parliamentary approval, the migration and nationality fees will increase from the 4th of October 2023. Today's changes do not include the planned increase to the immigration health subcharge known as the IHS, which are scheduled to be introduced later in the autumn. Uh, you can find all these details, uh, you know, a full list of the new fees can be found at uh, fees visa transparency data on the gov.uk. Uh, though some of the businesses uh, in UK are urging, uh, you know, the Prime Minister Rishi Sunak to reverse rise in visa fee for the skilled workers. Whether that is going to happen, I don't know yet, but all I can tell you, we must be prepared for those of you that will be traveling in the near future, that the fees will now be increased. Once again, this is Koiki Media, as we continue to give you all the information uh, pertaining to United Kingdom and uh, make sure uh, you tune in that notification bell and continue to more further videos. Uh, you can put in the comment section, how is this going to affect you? What is going to be the cost of the visa fee from the country that you're traveling from? And I'll be looking into that. Thank you so much.